So today I'm going to uh, fit bottom four stringers to the bulkheads. Uh, I've dry fitted them, I've gone through and, and filed all of the uh, joints so that as the curve of the boat, uh, the stringers sit nicely in the bulkheads. They've been, so they've been dry fitted now and they fit really well. Uh, so what I have to do now is square up uh, the bulkheads uh, so that they keep the right dimensions between each other. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. To get the stringers ready to put into the bulkheads, uh, you can see that where the slot has been cut for the stringers, there's a, a, a radius on each corner. So I just need the radius off the edges of the stringers to make them fit. So to do that, I've just made up a simple, uh, simple jig. I have my radius cutter. So I've just mounted my router uh, onto the bottom side of the desk here and a little jig uh, which I attach my vacuum cleaner to which sucks up all the dust and also protects uh, from little fingers getting caught up in the cutter. Uh, so I'll show you how that works now. Uh, so a nice radius on uh, the edges of one side. It only needs to be one side. Now this is right to be scarfed together, glued together into long lengths, fitted into the bulkheads. So I had a couple of guys help me out the other day and they uh, cut up uh, all these um, Western Red Cedar uh, to be made into the stringers and we had one guy run, run it through the router to put the, um, the radiuses on. And then I had another guy come in and he's done all the scarf joints for me. So run them through the jig and um, cut all the scarf joints. So uh, today I'm gonna to start joining these together. I'll get a couple of staples through to uh, help hold it while the glue dries and clamp it. And once the glue's dry, I'll be able to install them into the, uh, into the bulkheads. So I've also been gluing up the uh, flange pieces. Uh, now these will go onto a, a stringer that's been cut down. Uh, the normal strings are 44 uh, mils uh, wide. This string will be 32 mils and uh, this will be, this will sit where the, where the side panel and the radius chine uh, will join. As you can see, there's a flange there on that stringer, uh, which, will, uh, which will be where the joining of the bottom skin and the radius chine will join up there all right guys, one of the joys, uh, or curse if you like, of, um, of building a catamaran is that you get to do everything twice. On the porthole, uh, we've installed the stringers and the doubling flange uh, to hold uh, the uh, bottom uh, skins on. Today we're starting to get the starboard side together. We've uh, put the stringers in and also the flanges are attached uh, to the stringers and we're going to start fitting the, uh, the skins and make, just dry fitting and making sure they fit. One of the things we learned, like you, you learn from the first hole, what worked, what doesn't work. And so, uh, yeah, so today might be, hopefully, we'll go uh, a little quicker than uh, the first hole. And uh, I hope this is the process that goes through. We, we learn as we go along. Uh, what works and what doesn't work and uh, then we get to uh, do the second time uh, better or quicker than the first time. Uh, so here we go, uh, starting to fit the bottom skins uh, to the starboard hull. So I've got the bottom four stringers just temporarily uh, in place, uh, just been dry fitting them, making sure that they fit and long enough and adjusting the angles on the bulkheads, make sure that they sit down nicely. And so we'll be looking at uh, gluing them in position today and, uh, and then hopefully later on start fitting the bottom skins. So the way I'm uh, setting up the bulkheads is I've uh, already got the stringer um, 
glued and screwed into uh, bulkhead D and it's fixed at that point and I've also um, also fixed and screwed it into uh, the AP bulkhead as well so the two outside stringers are fixed so what I'm going to do now is I'll just laser measure between the bulkheads and uh, get them in the right position and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just using uh, like a little cleat clamped to that stringer uh, and that will hold the bulkhead in that in the correct position uh, and I'll just go through all the rest of the uh, bulkheads and measure clamp on the cleats and then I'll be able to come through after that apply the epoxy uh, resin mix uh, to the joints and glue them into place. All right, so once I've got the um, bulkheads uh, clamped into position, uh, I then just double check with uh, my straight edge, I lay it across diagonally, and uh, just to check for any twist in the bulkhead, and also just do a, a, an eyeball uh, from a distance and just double check that it looks as straight as it possibly can. So now the, um, the stringers are in, I've gone through and already uh, started to run uh, some fillets uh, around uh, the stringers and, uh, and the backbone, uh, just to uh, make life a little bit easier, uh, a bit easier to do that now before we put the skins on. And then uh, later on, once the skins go on, we can uh, run uh, more of a fillet. I've fitted uh, the porthole um, so these long sections of bottom skin. So these are ready to be glued in place, uh, but because they are so long, uh, I'm going to need a couple of guys here uh, to help me uh, manhandle them back uh, onto the hole uh, once we put the resin on. But hoping to get that done today. <laughs> Well, that was a, a, a mammoth effort getting, uh, getting that piece on, uh, but it's on. Uh, it took about an hour and a half to uh, get that piece all uh, glued on and screwed down, and it's looking great. Today we're preparing the uh, bottom skins uh, to have the two layers of uh, fiberglass applied to them. So I just need to go over the joint where, we've, where I've joined the two skins together down along the centre line of the keel. Uh, just need to make sure that that joint is uh, just a little bit of filling needs to be done in, inside the joint uh, to make it as uh, smooth as I possibly can. Uh, you know, with anything like this, uh, the preparation is key. Uh, so if you prepare well, uh, you'll get a good finish. Uh, if you don't prepare well, you're forever chasing your tail trying to get a good finish. So if you, if you start with a good surface, then uh, you're going to at least be in the best place possible to get a good finish. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to go over the joint, make sure that uh, if there is any, any, uh, any little hollows uh, in the joint that I get that filled, uh, I'll sand that smooth and uh, get it ready for the fiberglass, the two layers of fiberglass uh, to go into this joint. So this is the joint here and this is the area here that uh, we've got to put two layers of uh, 450 gram uh, unidirectional and uh, you can just see there's just a, a, just a slight 
um, joined, and it's just a, I filled it when I um, when I did the joint. I filled it with uh, a mixture of um, uh, thickened epoxy with milled glass fibre. Uh, there's just there's just a little hollow um, going up the centre there, so I just want to fill that in and make that uh, as smooth as possible. And then I'll sand it down uh, with my I got a pneumatic um, longboard uh, sander, uh, which I'll use to, uh, to run over this just to make sure that it's nice and smooth, get a nice straight line down the centre of the keel. To try and make things a little bit easier uh, in terms of uh, clean up resin and things like that, one of the tools that uh, was really helpful uh, that I learned to use when I was an apprentice uh, was a, uh, a file. Uh, that had been ground on the end and this creates a bit of a burr and a bit of a sharp edge which is great for scraping uh, resin uh, and the fiberglass uh, minimizes the amount of dust so and also the amount of sandpaper you have to go through uh, so you can use it for uh, things like this so I've just taken the file and all I've done is just uh, ground uh, the end and it's a uh, gives me a flat surface and I'm using a half round file here so I can use the the half round section as well uh, to get into scraping fillets scraping down and giving a good finish on the fiberglass or I can use the flat section so you can see here in this little joint so I'm just using the very corner of the uh, of the file and that's um, taking that uh, that surface off that uh, resin that hardened resin and that'll give me a good surface for the new uh, little bit of resin that's going to go on top of that and make that stick really well. I mean, it's going to have uh, two layers of glass over the top of it, but I just think, well, if it's job's worth doing, do it right. All right, so guys, this is the uh, end of the episode. I still haven't got to uh, putting the, the glass on the keel. I got sidetracked, uh, which anyone who knows me that that happens pretty easily. Yes, yeah, so I've got sidetracked building stringers and side panels and things like that. I will be making a start on that this week and, and hopefully get that completed and have that all done uh, in the next couple of weeks. Stay with us as we, as we continue this build and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.